welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i didn't get to film a proper intro which is why y'all see me doing my voiceover hey girl but yes for today's video i am just showing y'all how i achieved the most natural looking possible bob wig that i have this is an old wig that i ordered from aliexpress like a year ago i'm pretty sure this is the wig from my very first youtube video and as you can see it's clearly went through a lot and it's at its final stage which is the bob and i'm basically just showing y'all how i managed to dye it brown do the baby hairs plug and all of that so yes let's just get right into the video <laughs> Okay, so for the beach bath, I will admit, I definitely think I did this completely wrong. But I'm basically going to show y'all that sometimes being wrong, you could always turn it around and get to your advantage, you know what I mean? I didn't do exact measurements. I did the entire packet of the powder. But for the liquid, I kind of just eyeballed it, to be honest. I feel like that's kind of what bleach baths are. But if you don't want to waste product, I definitely recommend getting a mixing bowl and mixing both your powder and your developer in a bowl first and then adding it to the water. That is definitely a smarter idea, but I was rushing. I didn't want to do it anymore. It was so late when I did this, so yeah. Bleach baths are supposed to have a lot of product and water, but somehow I always do way more water than product. And I just feel like I shouldn't have to waste so much product if there's water in there. I'm not exactly sure how to fix that. I would definitely recommend y'all to go watch other bleach bath videos and maybe not take my advice. And if you do decide to take my advice, then this is kind of just a way to do it where it's like a more water solution rather than product solution the color definitely still lifted but i will say i don't think the formula was correct so that is the only thing So like I said, this was an old wig I already had, so I technically didn't need to pluck the hair anymore. However, I wanted to construct the wig just a little better, just so that it could fit this type of style that I was going for. So I did decide to do a little light plucking. Um, I'm not very good at plucking, but the main rules that I follow by is not staying in one place. I feel like a natural hairline has those natural ridges. So whenever I pluck, I try to mimic those natural ridges. So not staying in one place definitely helps capture that look. And I also think it's helpful to part a little section off the front of your hair so that when you pluck the baby hair and the hairline parted, it helps capture that natural hairline look, as I said before. And once I was done, I decided to place my wig head inside of my shower so that once the hair drips overnight, it could fall into the shower and it's just an easy cleanup process. So installing my wigs are pretty self-explanatory. I have many tutorials on my page of what I do. I don't really think I need to re-explain everything that I do. However, I will say I just do the same exact process. Two caps for the bald cap, one cap to protect my braids underneath, and a second cap to do the actual bald cap. Applying the powder foundation, applying the got to be, cutting off the bald cap so that it's uh, a few centimeters in front of your hairline. I recommend trying on the wig so that it matches up with my hairline. The 
Before I decided to glue the wig down, once I tried it on, I realized that I the pluck job wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. So I decided to part some of the edges out of the way and I just plucked from there. Usually you would do this step after you glue the hair down. However, in that moment, I just felt like it was smart to do it then because it kind of helped me get a jump start on, you know, the plucking and the styling or whatever. When it comes to baby hairs on a wig, I feel like it's good to have that s a little bit of space in between the baby hairs and the border of the hairline just so that it looks captures that natural looking soft effect to the roots of the hair or the lace per se. And then yeah, I just use my ghost bond. Um, I didn't get all of the footage of me gluing the wig, but I did use my ghost bond and I applied one layer of my ghost bond and then I went over with my liquid bold hold gel. I did one layer of that as well and that's what I used to glue my wig down. To style my hair, I start by hot combing, which I just part the hair and to where I want it. And by section, I apply my wax stick and hot comb it down to achieve that flatness and sleek look of the bob. And then I just took the hair in multiple sections and bumped the ends so that I could get that like natural bumped look. This is what we be seeing when we say we want a bumped wig at Black Moms. Because I remember I used to tell my mom all the time, but my hair, but my hair, I just want a cute little bump. This girl would make have me out here look like Rick James, like giving me Bobby, like all of them. I was like, okay. This is not it. But yes, this bob reminds me of cute little like Matilda bob. Something cute, very natural. I used to wear my roll hair like this all the time in middle school. So wearing this hair style again is just really funny. So for the rest of the styling process, I did do a little bit more plucking. But other than that, I just cut off the necessary baby hairs so that they can look as short as possible. When it comes to the baby hairs on the center of my hairline i'm not exactly sure how to describe it but i do them shorter so that it looks like a natural little center swoop and then for the side parts of the baby hairs i keep them short but also a tad bit longer than the center because i like to have medium sized swoops for the sides of my hair i don't like a lot of swoops in the wig because i like i said i feel like the more swoops the less natural it looks people get it natural with their swoops with the bunch of swoops but me personally this is just what i prefer y'all can do whatever y'all would like and i also do the swoops of the sideburns and that's pretty much all i do for the baby hair i use the mousse to begin the base swooping 
of the baby hairs and then I like to go over with maybe like a gel um, you can use any gel honestly but I use the olive oil fits it gel to go back over it after I do the mousse to end off the hairstyle I just add my finishing touches going over my edges with the foundation to achieve that natural look as well and yes that's pretty much all I do